This is the first real good profile view of the mountain. This is a nice little scenic lookout point on the way up. You can't miss it. These are the subdome steps or switchbacks. This is the little dome right before you get to the section of cables. And a lot of people don't know about this or aren't expecting it. And you can see it on the map at the beginning. But it's, uh, it's a little slap in the face. I'll be real straightforward with you. Totally exposed to the sun, no shade. Uh, and you, it tires you out right before the cables. It's, it's not that bad, but just something to look forward to, right? Staging area for the cables. Everybody's thinking about it here. As you can see, it's crowded. So it's like the same rules of the road. Somebody's coming down, we get on the right side. Pretty much. Pretty much. See, it's starting to, it's starting to get crowded now a little bit. Gloves are very important. I always bring my own. These have the gripping rubber material on them. Uh, leather gloves do not work well, nor do gardening gloves without any grip. You need that gripping material. And you can get it at uh, Home Depot for like five bucks or something. So it only really takes one person on the cables to freak out and slow everything down. Uh, as you can see here, everyone is stopped probably because that is going on. You also notice that you come up and down in this four foot channel. So you go up to a post, you kind of hold on, rest your feet, then somebody goes up to the next post and you go up and so on and so forth. It took us about 45 minutes this day. Uh, this is at the top looking back down and you can see it gets pretty steep there at the very last part then it evens out here at the very top. That's uh, Uncle John trudging up. Nicely done. This is the area right at the very peak uh, of the cables anyway, where people hang out. The actual summit is a little further up, which we see here. This is the edge, that lady's taking a picture there. And on the left, right here, that's called the diving board and it actually sticks out over the drop off. It's a great area to stand and someone takes your picture from the other side. We had pretty good views this day. There can be lightning up there, but not today, thankfully. And this is hanging the camera straight over the side, looking down into Yosemite Valley. And there's the diving board again. Going back down here. That's right. I will never forget you, sir. He just said, uh, you'll be on my video forever or something. Which is true. Here we are bottlenecked again. Another bottleneck on the way down. But you can kind of see how it drops off there. If you noticed on that previous shot there's a lady outside of the cable. Sometimes if it gets really crowded you see people coming down on the outside of the cables which is a little risky in my opinion, but I guess they want to get down. So this is Katie coming down the cables. Again, you can kind of get an idea of the scale here. And my advice is just to not think about it too much when you're going up. It always looks a little steeper than it is, but just go for it. It's not a problem. 
So there you have it, a synopsis of the Half Dome Trail in Yosemite, one of the most popular trails around. It is crowded, but it is worth it in my opinion. This day took us about 14 hours, I believe. We could have made it faster, but we kind of took our time at the end and the cousins, it was their first time, so they were kind of taking it all in. Thanks for stopping by today, everybody. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It is free at videowaypoint.com. You can keep up on all the latest trails, tips, blog entries, and also be sure to check out the store while you're there. It is hand-picked items that we ourselves use and enjoy, and you can support Video Waypoint while you're doing it. So it is a win-win. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.